Let's just have a quick walk through the evolution of micro EDFs. Let's start out with the famous GWS 30mm EDF. It came with a little brush motor and then we started hopping these suckers up with outrunners and inrunners to get more power out of them. Yeah, that, that went on for a little while there didn't it? Okay, then along came AEO and they started bringing out 40mm, 35mm, 30mm and then down to 27mm 2, 4, 6, 7 with 7 blades hmm so that was a lot of fun as well <clears throat> so we had that little sucker then we had the UMX 28mm EDF this one I made, this is a 3D printed uh, case stuck in a little outrunner put it on three blades to try and get some uh, speed out of it E-flux speed so that was exciting then we went down to 25mm this is the fan that is in the 25mm EDF Hawk that I made this is a, an, another one, I, I made a couple so that has got an extremely high 12mm uh, extremely high KV 12mm in runner in it and that's what makes this thing scream so it was 25mm then I got a uh, a request from uh, one of the RC group members to make him a little 20mm EDF uh, using a I think it was a 6mm brushed motor so we came up with this little design for him and you may have seen him put two of these into an ME262 which was really small that looked great so then I moved on to my own uh, version of 20mm with an with an EDF uh, sorry with an EDF with a outrunner let's see if you can see that there's an outrunner just inside there oh there it is so that sits in front of all this mess in the back there so it looks like there's no motor but it's sitting on top that is the fan unit that I have in my DH108 Swallow and I also had an inline version so you can see the outrunner a bit clearer there in that one the casing is letting a bit of light through so this sucker is in the Fokker Wolf Huckabine TA183 so it's an inline job so it's got no lip alright and that brings us to how small can we go so I got a uh, an email from MicroBuilder um, <coughs> out in RC Groups and he asked if it was possible to make a 10mm EDF um, is it even possible to do and I thought alright well, let me add it you know, I'm not one to uh, turn down a challenge so I got you know got stuck in a Fusion 3D um, did a lot of design work uh, did a lot of printing did a lot of changes and went through quite a few different versions of the power setup to try and get something that would be usable and if you're ready for it let me just get rid of all this <coughs> this is what I ended up with a 10 mil EDF unit driven by a 4 mil coreless DC motor this one has 10 blades on it. I started with 6, the motor could handle it. So I went up to 8, and the motor could still handle it. So I went up to 10. There's no more room, but the motor still handled it. Other motors would uh, fry and all that sort of stuff with the load. They were very sensitive. But uh, with a lot of searching, I finally found one that could handle the, um, the load and the various uh, voltages as well. You can easily run this on a one cell LiPo, it doesn't have to be 3 volts or 3.3 like a lot of the others were the moment you stepped up the voltage it, they died now here's the fun part hooking it up this is just a little, really really old, this could be 15 years old this Turnigy battery 
Oh. So there it is. 10 mil near the air rushing. Shh, listen. Noise. 10 mil nano EDF. And I've given this little sucker the uh, nickname of the Atom 10 mil EDF unit. What a rip snorter. So I've sent a bunch of these over to Micro Builder, who's very keen to stick this in a project he has going on at the moment. Um, I've sent a few others to other people around the world. Can't wait to see the results. I've got a little model planned for this one as well. I'm going to actually try just to run it on one 10mm EDF and see how we go. So fingers crossed. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you again soon. Do, 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 more power. Do, do, do.